Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This video is a re-upload. Have a great day. Tasha K is another person that has taken so much time and dedication, spending so much hate about R. Kelly. 95% of the comments and, and gossip about R. Kelly on my post and rumors have been from Tasha K's channel about Dominique and all the other so-called victims and accusers. It's kind of annoying when people come from her channel and tell me what she said and they don't come with anything that they took and researched for themselves. They come directly with what she said. What bothers me is that she reports things so one-sided. And it's very clear that she has some, si some type of relationship with Tim Savage. It's very clear that he feeds her all the information she gets. So, at the end of the day, Y'all could believe what y'all want, but I know that I don't believe nothing that comes from her page. And I believe her and Tim Savage have some type of connection going on. She knows that this whole thing is an extortion plot. And as far as I'm concerned... She, along with everybody else, owes Robert Sylvester Kell, Robert Sylvester, <laughs> some money, period. See, this is the type of reckless bullshit that Tasha K will put out there according to Tasha K Jay-Z is implicated in the R. Kelly case I'm not even finna click on it because of course it's some bullshit Today, Robert Kelly was indicted before a Cook County. Earlier today, Robert Kelly was indicted before a Cook County grand jury on 10 counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse involving four victims. The first victim, initials HW, was involved in incidents which occurred between May 26, 1998, and May 25, 1999. A grand jury returned an indictment on four counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse based on the victim being under the age of 17 and Robert Kelly being more than five years older than the victim. The second victim, initials RL, was involved in an incident which occurred between September 26, 1998 and September 25, 2001. A grand now they know damn well that tape was from 2001, but they want to leave it up in the air and say 98 through 2001 just to say that she could possibly be 14, even though they know she's 16. And again, using the same girl, Rash Rashonda Landfair, Tasha K went on her platform trying to spread the rumor talking about Rashonda was going to testify even though she know good and goddamn well this girl is not going to testify 
double jeopardy using the same girl in the same fucking tape. And jury returned an indictment on two counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse based on the victims being under the age of 17 and Robert Kelly being more than five years older than that victim. The third victim, initials LC, was involved in an incident which occurred February 18th, 2003. A grand jury returned an indictment on one count of aggravated criminal sexual abuse based on the transmission of semen by Robert. Now, an adult victim only has a five-year span to criminally charge or even civil, civ, make a civil claim. So, I don't even know what this hair braid are talking about. She can go somewhere with this bullshit, too. Kelly, upon any part of the body of the victim, for the purpose of sexual... And who the hell keep a shirt for 15-odd years? Like, get the fuck on. Gratification during the course of an underlying felony of attempt criminal sexual assault. And R. Kelly ain't even gave no sample. So who did y'all test the DNA with? Lies, lies, lies. That's all y'all doing is lying. The fourth victim, initials JP, was involved in incidents which occurred between May 1st, 2009 and January 31st, 2010. A grand jury returned an indictment on the three counts, three counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse based on the victim being under the age of 17 and Robert Kelly being more than five. I'm going to get back to Geronda Pace, who is who she's talking about now later. But it's mighty funny. She with R. Kelly and R. Kelly friend in 2010. But she also met her so-called husband in 2010 as well. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Years older than the victim. Aggravated criminal sexual abuse is a class two felony with a sentencing range of three to seven years per count. It is now. Does that sound anything like what Tasha K had to say? I mean, I'm no rocket scientist. I'm no genius. But that don't sound nothing like what Tasha K had to say. I'm just saying. Check your sources, Tasha K. The blogging lawyer. Tasha Unwit with Tasha K, whatever it is. I'm going to be real with you. I see the way you put some stuff together and you put the lies together and it seemed believable. However, you slipped up when you said you want to see R. Kelly behind bars. Okay. So now I know you got a personal issue with the situation. My question is this, Tasha K. What is your personal direct reference to the case? I'm sorry, I can't ask you that. I'm going to tell you what it is. You and Tim Savage are great friends. You sit at Tim Savage's house and he comes to Savage's house. I don't know if y'all sit tea together, but y'all go to each other's house. Y'all good friends. So I see you trying to help your friend. But you're trying to help your friend extort my friend. Once again, you put a nice little list together like this one is transporting this one and this one is doing this one and this one is that one. Tasha K, you know, you remind me of child support. Nothing but a third party debt collector. And I'll keep it real with you. And it's coming from a friend of a friend that you're trying to hurt. You have a child on the way. You already got legal issues. Leave it alone before you find yourself under the microscope once again. And I have no beef with you, Tasha K. But you will not lie on my friend. You will not paint a picture that he's uh, a slave sex trader. Because Kim Fox referenced you 
when she told that indictment. So, with that being said, Kim Fox and Tasha K, whatever y'all want to say, bring proof along with truth. It's easy to jump on, but it's hard as hell to jump up. At the end of the day, I wanted to see y'all do well. Both of y'all. Y'all sisters of Melvin. But Tasha K, you're going about it the wrong way. Just like I said about my homegirl in a lifetime. You're doing it the wrong way. Honestly, Oprah ain't none of y'all friends. So, since Tasha K, you're trying to impress Oprah to get a daytime talk show, it's not going to work. She don't care about you. She got guilt. I said all of that to say, Tasha K, I like what you do, but you've been caught in too many lies. Slow down, pump your brakes, get the facts, not people's opinion. That's all I got to say about Tasha K. Okay. So in conclusion, if I was R. Kelly, I would be getting ready to wrap up this little bullshit case and sue all the people necessary, including Tasha Kay, with a quick little defamation lawsuit. Because she sure does need one. I know she has about four or five coming. If you haven't already, like this video, share it, subscribe, comment below. Have a great day.